Hello students, this is your module 3 configure network installation of Windows under the course Windows Server Administration Fundamental Windows 10 update and in this lesson we are learning about how to install the Windows operating systems to our empty system that's the system that are not containing any kind of operating system right now and we can do a miracle based installation like just only connect it to the network and without any user involvement we can install the operating system to the machine in a vast number and we can forward the image to the multiple device at a time for example if you are a network administrator and you have a network where you have more than 10 or 20 number of machines and you have to install the Windows operating system to each machine at a time and if you go on each computer one by one that takes a lot of your time and it requires a lot of energy for your from yourself so to skip this physical movement there is a protocol we have VDS Windows deployment services where you can easily forward the opera operating system image to the multiple number of devices and all the solution is completely done without the involvement of any user input and this is done by connecting those machines to the network and we can also configure some protocol to connect those machines to the network and here the windows deployment services that is the service offered by the windows server which is responsible and which is used to remotely install the operating systems to the machine and it uses the concept of preboot execute environment this is behind this from that machine directly connected to the network and it is done in the previous time where there was no hard drive on the systems so the system must be up through the network and here the NIC must have to suppose the pre pre execute environment and for the transference of file in the VDS server the TFTP service is used here and this is the service you can add after installing the Windows Server to your machine and we call it the Windows deployment services how it works when the network connection between the VDS client and the server is successfully established there's a parameter called the boot tap trap which is working in between that is responsible for providing the IP address to the system once the system get the IP address it directly up on the network and the VDS start its task its activity to initiate the Windows installation and all of the installation goes on software and no any user input is required here and we call it the pre boot execution environment and it contains the data on the ROM or the PROM without the involvement of hard drive. This is the legacy method where there's no physical hard drive on the each system for the moment for that time. So they may use this protocol to up the devices and which is taking the input from the PROM and the ROM. So the preboot execution environment is responsible for upping the machines through the network and here you can see the concept the topology it create for their clients and in the last section you can read the PXC can be used to boot a computer from a network without any requirement of the physical drive all the memory the memory is used in this working is the ROM or the PROM that rely totally rely on those RAM without the need of the physical drive then you have the TFTP these are the objects of this module 
it is the file transfer protocol generally work on the UDP and used for transferring file mail on the remote server now the main and important part of this deployment this activity is the boot strap protocol it is supported by the DHCP and it is responsible for providing the IP address to the system which doesn't have any operating system and uh, it is responsible to initiating the Windows installation without any user involvement and the DHCP support this protocol for the network installation of the operating system now in the coming demo we are going to educate you how to configure the bootstrap protocol and after its successful configuration you can easily use the VDS which you later perform in the coming task so let's move to the, to the demo now first we are going to enable the scope here we have the PLAB DC01 the machine provided by the practice labs.com and you are to using this console to work there now here from the tools we are going to select the DHCP here and there you have the PLAB DC just expand the IPv4 and expand it to the right to watch clearly now right click to the scope and right now it is not activated at the moment and IPv4 is also off at the time now here right click to the scope and activate this scope here because for configuring the bootstrap you first have to activate the scope for the DHCP and this pool is going to be used for providing the IP address to the system now right click to the scope and go to the property for configuring the boot tip pay protocol boot tip protocol now here on the scope 192.160.0.0 network one properties just click to the advanced tab and here you can see the DHCP is selected so you can select the boat option so it may start work as the dual feature then click OK and now your boot TP protocol is up and when you start your machines the client machines it gonna take the IP address automatically and let me show you how to configure the Windows DS services here go to the Windows deployment services and here you got the menu here expand this server tab and then you get the PLAB DC01 practice lab lab.com right click to configure the server and here you have to visit click to the next and then you can go to the installation option as you are working through the active directory just so select it which is the random here and then see to the remote installation which is right now is not better for it so click no and set it to the D then go with this path and on the proxy DHCP server go with the default click next and now you are on the PXE server initial settings which I discuss later in this topic I'll so here you can select one of the option and you are going to respawn all client computers known and unknown because we are meant to provide the IP address to the all clients we have and then it initiate the process so that's all for this demo and further you can do on your own in the coming task and uh, I hope you would 
attempt all the tasks that could really explore your understanding explore your conceptual knowledge and for further more details you can go to the search engine and research to the topic but the most props we are already provided you so thanks for watching